biggest names in country. Get tickets to legends like Keith Urban July 13th, Miranda Lambert July 21st, and Brooks and Dunn on November 9th. Only at Yamaha Resort and Casino at San Manuel. Must be 21 to enter. KCAL News Mornings. Good morning. Today is Thursday, June 13th. Thank you for joining us on KCAL News at 5 and streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. I'm Sheba Turk. And I'm Christine Lazar. Kalina Strinos and Chris Holmstrom have the day off. And here are some of the major headlines we're following this morning. A church is engulfed by flames in South LA and firefighters are still trying to put it out. We'll take you live to that scene. A new pro-Palestinian protest at Cal State LA. We're live there where demonstrators have damaged part of the campus. Please join us in observing a moment of silence in honor of a true legend, Jerry West. Tributes continue to grow for sports legend and NBA pioneer Jerry West. We'll hear more on how his legacy is being remembered. But first, we're going to take a look at our traffic and weather. You're doing both multitasking today. today. Look at you. <laughs> and does one of them look good at least? Um, yes, 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 okay. of course. You I know. think I can guess which one. <laughs> I don't mind the June gloom because I know that <sighs> in like a couple of weeks, coming. we're going to yeah. be like dying under just constant sun exactly. and triple dip and digit temperatures. So exactly. I'll take it while we have it. Exactly, right? That's what I think a lot of people will say. But then, you know, people visiting Southern California, they're thinking, where's the sun? Where's the I sun? Know. Yeah. Yeah. They get a little confused. Doesn't look like the postcard in the morning. <laughs> it doesn't at all. But it's okay because things are going to slowly start to change. Today, though, however, is probably going to be a little cooler and a little cloudier just because we have a system that's kind of pushing in right now. So once we get past today, then we're going to ramp up and start to see some really hot temperatures. All right, so here's a look outside. This is our downtown LA camera. We are looking at the gray skies right now. You can see that that low clouds and fog really starting to hang around, especially in this area. So some areas will start to see a little bit more cloud cover deepen up as we head into the rest of the morning, just because that low pressure system hasn't really moved inland just yet. It's still off the coast. So here's a quick look at our hour by hour forecast. So we should actually start to see some sunshine as we head into the latter part of the day for areas like LA and Orange County. However, it's going to be one of those slow clearing type of days. Here's a quick look at the winds. We're looking at some breezier conditions for the second half of the day. Once the system kind of pushes in because it, it will increase our sea breeze. That's why our temperatures are going to be down all around today compared to the last few days. We'll have some low 70s for Malibu, upper 60s for LAX, and then once we head inland, we'll have mid 70s for downtown LA, 80s for Burbank, and then we'll still have some low 90s in the Antelope Valley, just not quite as hot as yesterday. All right, now we're going to take you over to the roadways, and I'm going to show you that we do have a couple incidents to talk about. So right now, I'm going to take you over to the Upland area, where we have the eastbound 10 from Mountain to Archibald, alternating closures as road work is being done until 6 a.m. You can already see that it's going to take you about 24 minutes right Right now from the eastbound 10 from Central to Archibald. So just that short little um, strip is going to take you a little longer just because there you have kind of closed down some of the lanes. Otherwise, we have a signaler to talk about still. This is a northbound 15 before Main Street and Hesperia. Right lanes blocked over here. All right, back to you guys. All right, thank you so much, Amber. We do begin with some breaking news we're following in South LA, where a church fire has been burning since just after three this morning. The fire is in the Chesterfield Square area near Slauson and Arlington Avenue, and that's where KCAL News reporter Cara Finstrom is live at the scene with the latest. Cara. And I just spoke with an assistant chief who says they now consider this fire out. But as you can see, they are still tackling some hot spots here. And this is a really unusual situation. You can see a church here that started burning early this morning. It is attached to a commercial structure that actually burned a little over 24 hours ago, late Tuesday night. The two here share a wall. That commercial structure also caught on fire again this morning. Let's give you a look at the huge flames that firefighters responded to uh, and had to fight here uh, at Holy Apostolic Church of God Pentecostal. We are told it appears nobody was hurt and while the fire crews confirmed the adjacent structure just burned, uh, they have not been able to comment on whether this is linked or how. We are awaiting a fire department public information officer for some more information about any possible connection here and we can tell you that arson investigators are here right now. Now LAFD firefighters, they did respond to that first structure fire inside that attached one-story 
multi-story building again on Tuesday night. At that time, they forced entry into both of the buildings. They extended hose lines inside, and they say intense flames burned the commercial structure, but they were able to...